Good morning. Today I'm going to do a quick review on a, a little travel tripod I picked up. I was looking for another tripod. I like doing a lot of time-lapse videos and I wanted one uh, to do time-lapse that I could also use for other stuff. My regular tripod's pretty heavy. I don't really like taking that around or a lot of times I'll, I'll leave it because I don't want to carry it. I don't think I need one. But uh, this one's light enough I can put it on the side of my backpack. It doesn't really weigh it down. It works great. Um, I like the build quality on it. It's uh, got anodized aluminum uh, legs, which are real nice. It's great for a little travel tripod, a tabletop one. Um, also, what I like, what I was looking for, this is one of the main things I look for in a tripod. I like these flip up levers to tell if your legs are locked. I don't like the twist lock kind because you can't tell if they're locked all the time. Uh, I had a friend, we were out shooting once. Uh, he set his camera on it and the tripod fell over because he didn't have his legs locked. He didn't trip with the, the twist lock once. So I really like these. You can look at a glance make sure that your legs are locked. Uh, actually it's adjustable down any size you need it. Uh, this one's plenty tall for anything I need to do. It also works great on a tabletop. Well, one other thing I like about it, which is kind of rare, I haven't really seen this on any other tripod. It has a nice little carry handle right here. Um, that's real nice when you're carrying it instead of having it, have your whole hand wrapped around it or grab by one leg and have everything open up. That works real good. One well, thing I did do too, which I like, is this one comes with two camera plates. They're, uh, they do hold the camera securely. Uh, it's a fairly heavy camera. Uh, comes with two of them. Uh, I put the other one, I use uh, my GoPro a lot for time lapse. I just put a little uh, tripod adapter on the other plate and I just keep that like that. Uh, just saves a lot, you don't have to unscrew it and uh, put it on from one tripod to the other, or one plate from one camera to the other. It just works out real good. Uh, the pan head is very smooth, I like that. Uh, up and down works real good too. It's got some resistance to it, but that helps make it nice and smooth. I like that. You can't actually loosen it up and it'll go real simple, but I, I like a little resistance on it. Uh, it also has a uh, for flipping your camera over that way. I like doing it. I rarely take a shot like that, but it, it's a nice option. I know a lot of people do take them like that. One other thing I like about this tripod too, this is another one of the main selling points. A monopod. Uh, I've never had a monopod before. I was thinking about getting one. I've always wanted one. I just never picked one up before. But it extends pretty good. It uh, feels very sturdy. I didn't actually try using it as a monopod yet, but um, everybody who has monopods that I talk to, all my friends that do photography, they, they use them and they just love them. Uh, so instead of buying a monopod and a an extra tripod. I just pick this up. We'll see how that works. One other thing that's nice too. Uh, the uh, hand head actually unscrews, so you put a ball head on it. Uh, you can even put your camera directly to it if you don't need to use a, a ball head or a swivel. Which that, it doesn't weigh that much, but it does reduce a little bit of the weight. Uh, I'm doing time lapse, it's probably how I'm going to use this quite a bit. But I do like the fact that the head does come off because uh, I like using a ball head a lot, but I also, this, this works really well, how smooth this works. And one other thing it does have back here, it does have a little level. Uh, that's why if you're just doing a time lapse or something, you might want to just leave that off and just use the time uh, on your camera right directly to that or your GoPro right directly to the the tripod uh, just make it a little easier and also if you're using it as a monopod you might not want that on so you can just go right to the bottom of your camera. Uh, that said I got this on Amazon just picked it up uh, only used it a little bit outside testing and stuff and it's raining today so I was going to do this video outside but I decided to do it inside since it was raining. Um, it's, it's nice light nice weight the uh, build quality is, is real good I'm real happy with that. Uh, legs are very sturdy when it's, it's, it's up. 
either on a tabletop or fully extended is very sturdy a lot sturdier than I was expecting uh, the pan head does work uh, work real well they kind of impressed me and I do like this little handle right here on the side it works great uh, I think it's going to fit my needs for what I wanted real well uh, one other thing it does have it does have a little sandbag holder down here on the bottom if you want to have it put a sandbag on it or something uh, I've never really used that I guess uh, come in handy if it's very windy out or something or you're out on the beach or something like that uh, just a little added weight to keep everything stable keep it from falling over but I've never needed that on any of my tripods I don't always really need it on this but it, it is a nice option you can have a camera back in down there too to keep all your stuff in it uh, very pleased with it very happy uh, I think it's going to do well for what I want and again it's the Vic T72 tripod it's uh, it's a really good deal. It'd be great for a uh, photographer who wants something lightweight and also it'd be great for a gift for any photographer. I'm sure they'd love it. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please check out my channel. It's hackandgo.com. Uh, you can find me on YouTube also. And uh, have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye.